it just I don't know what the attraction is it's odd but there's a lot of us out there at all levels you know what I mean from high school to lower division college and, and all the way up to obviously here so you've been you're one of the few that's been here throughout the whole tenure uh, uh -huh. that Mark's been here yeah. how have you seen him you know not only say the same but uh, evolve throughout the last decade as a coach. Well, I, I don't think that he's he's afraid to to look at, at himself and say what can I do better. You know what I mean? He he's an unbelievable guy. You know what I mean to his players, and they're, they're first and foremost. And um, I think that carries a lot of weight with these guys. They know that he cares about them. You know that uh, he's going to do everything he can for them on and off the field. And I think that you know he's learning as we all are learning. I mean, you know, you, you better learn. If you think you know it all, it's going to smack you in the face, you know. And and uh, and if that happens, you better be ready to bounce back. What's your you message know? to Jordan Love it this week? Now that he's taking on a bigger role with Jason. You know, it's just hey, you've, you've done this. We've done this. We went through the spring, all those reps, and then in the fall camp and all that. And you know, I told each of those guys in the room, I don't care who you are, but we need everybody in some capacity, some way. You never know what's going to happen, and it's unfortunate for Jalen. It had happened, you know, obviously in the second game. But I just told Jordan, just stay the course. You know, we're doing a little extra, you know what I mean? Just as far as communication and all that, just making sure it's clean and clear. But um, he's ready. I mean, um, the whole plan was to have a good rotation this year uh, with all, all of them. It's a long season. You know, it takes one play, you know, um, and, and, you, and you lose somebody. So, but I think he'll be ready. I think he's, he's locked in. Uh, it's a home game, which will help. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But I have all the confidence in him. What do you think it is about the kids now in, in kind of this generation that can get thrust into that situation at, at the swamp and not be overwhelmed? Preparation. You know what I mean? Just just being prepared and ready. I mean, they, they knew they were going to play in that game. I mean, you know, um, Jordan was going to play for Jalen, and Zion was going to go in at some point for Ty. And when that happens, it kind of does it. Sometimes you get into a into a rhythm with a group of guys on the field. And we weren't out there for long drives. We were very fortunate for that, you know, at times. You know what I mean? We played pretty good second half. So as long as I don't feel them I'm in the box, as long as I don't sense when I call down that they're fatigued, because I don't, I want fresh. Because sometimes you not only get physically fatigued, you get mentally fatigued. And when the mental breaks down, so does the physical. And then that's when things start to, you know, you lose a little bit of focus on what you're supposed to do. But um, uh, you know, you just got to prepare them, and they got to understand. Like I said, uh, you know, earlier, you got to, everybody's got to be ready to go at any point in time. And if you're out there with the ones and twos and threes, then you better be ready to roll on Saturday. How is Zion developing? Uh, very well. Very pleased with Zion. His knowledge of the game, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he deserves it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, just his knowledge of the game and grasping our defense, you know, we're not, we don't, we don't sit very still on our defense. You've, you've, you've got to be, you know, Coach White does a phenomenal job of putting us in positions to succeed, you know, and we've got to execute it. So I think that he's understood that, you know, when you get a, when you get a, a young man that transfers in, you don't know how much knowledge they have. You know, you, you, you recruit them, you spend time with them on an official visit, but until you really get in a classroom setting and talk to it and you get out on the field and you apply it, that's when you find out. And you got to find out how did they learn? Do they learn in front of a screen? Or do they learn out on the field? And once you can figure that out on each young man, then you can start to be creative in how you coach and teach it. On Jordan and, and Zion, at their best, the way you picture them, what, what's a big characteristic of both guys that they bring to the table? I think Jordan's athleticism, the way he works, I think Zion's knowledge and the way he works. I mean, they both are very hard workers out here. You can tell that they're tuned in when they're out here. You know what I mean? And Jordan is just to continue to, to, to learn. you got to remember, he's just a redshirt freshman, right? So he's still young. You know, Zion had a couple of years under his belt, a year or so, uh, playing at the college level. So I think that's helped Zion a little bit. But Jordan Lovett's got all the talent and ability. I'm very confident in what he'll do. I asked Jordan, I said, Dad, you, you know, you're out there at the swamp. How do you not get kind of lost? And there's 90,000 people yeah. <laughs> staring down at me. And he said, I love it. Yeah. Is that something that – they have to embrace to, to be successful. Yeah, absolutely. You can't be overwhelmed by that. That's why you're playing in the SEC. That's why you came here. You know what I mean? You're 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 going to play in front of crowds like that. Kroger Field's no different. I mean, last year here when we played Florida. I mean, what better atmosphere? It was a lot better than I think it was last week. You know, not to, not to doubt the Gators, but I mean, we he's played and been in stadiums like this. So, 
With Zion, he's playing a little bit of both spots. Yeah, he'll he'll, he'll do a little bit of both. So you know, smarts come into play there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but he played uh, he played the, in that uh, boundary safety role at Texas State. So he actually transitioned to the field when he came here. Oh, so he's ready. Yeah, for so he he had that experience of playing in that. It's a little bit of a different animal into the boundary. Okay. What, what we do. All right, we appreciate. It.